Hi, this is Christy with Sapphire Skies Farm. Today we have goslings hatching. Come and see and learn about what is going on during the process of the gosling hatch. Sapphire Skies. Here is a duck egg I'm using to show you what a one week old embryo looks like inside the shell. Here you can see the eye and then the body of the baby inside. You've got veins. The veins feed the baby from the yolk. This round part here inside that you can see is the yolk and it is slowly being absorbed by the embryo inside by all of these veins that then go into the umbilical cord and feed that baby. The point, there's a pointy side and a round side to every egg. Here's the round, here's the pointy. And then there is a air pocket here at the bottom of the round side. This is always here unless the egg is shaken too much. Otherwise, the air pocket is on this rounder side. And when the baby hatches, it comes out of this rounder side. First, its little tooth, called its egg tooth, pokes into this air pocket and it breathes for one more day. And then it eventually pips through the shell. Until that baby is detached from its umbilical cord, it is still fed by that yolk. The goslings that hatch today, this is what they'll look like when they grow up. This is their mom and their dad, Emmett and Wildstyle, AKA Lucy. They are Sebastopol geese. Goose eggs take 30 days to hatch. Here are some duck eggs and some goose eggs in the incubator. They have to be turned every day we have to keep track of their temperature, which is 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and keep the humidity at about 50%. The eggs have to be turned three to four times a day, and we actually squirt them with a squirt bottle when that happens. And then they also have to come out and cool out of the incubator each day for about 30 minutes, and then put back in. We always use two different thermometers to check the temperature. This one's showing that it's just below 99.5, so we'll have to increase the temperature a little bit. This tray here underneath, you can see the clear. It keeps the water in there to keep the humidity just right. If it's too high, we'll take some out. If it's too low, we'll add some more. So these eggs can turn into little babies. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> you can see a little beak poking through. Hey baby, are you gonna come and see us soon? This egg has an O on it, and they also have an X on the other side, because while they're in the incubator, they actually have to get turned every day, four times a day. And so I have a circle and an X on each side, so I can keep track of which side was up last, and which side needs to get turned. So all the eggs get turned every time. Hey little baby, we're excited to meet you. Is it gonna be okay? for about 24 hours and it will fluff up and dry up and then it will be ready to go into the brooder. Yeah, right. 
right? Yeah, uh-huh. Because the egg was helping to feed that baby. Oh, I put it Oh, right, that's what they do. They, like, kind of eat out of it, right? No, it, like, just like us. It has, like, an umbilical cord. Wait. And the umbilical cord attaches to the yolk part. The yolk part is not the baby. Did you know that? The yolk part is what feeds it. Wait. That's how I'm it. eating what these chickens eat? Yeah. I mean, they don't eat it. They absorb it. It becomes okay. them. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then once they absorb it all the way, so it's still a little bit attached, I think. How much do geese, like, how well do geese treat their babies? Oh, so good. So this one, he's just like really tired now from being at the egg, and he's never learned how to lift up his head yet. So he's gonna learn how to lift up his head. Oh, what's that brown thing's attached to him? So yeah, there's a little tubby. bit of brown underneath. It's like right the there. Dumpling, and then there's a piece that's wrapped up on its neck. So when it's inside the egg, it's inside of the little sack. And then when it pop, pops through that egg and hatches, it breaks out of that sack. And so what you're seeing there is just a little bit of yolk that's left over and then the sack that's still on its back. But it will come off in just a second as it moves around. Did you know that the last day they're in the egg, they actually get a little tooth on their beak? And that's what helps to open up the egg. It's kind of on the top of it. It's kind of on the top of their beak. <laughs> he's learning how to put his head up. He's never had to do that before when he was in his egg. He was just really tight and cramped. So now he has to learn how to lift up his head. He's got to build those muscles. It's really exhausting. He's got to learn how to walk. Try not to flop everywhere. Nice little baby steps. Let's check on the other egg. Our little hatched guy has walked over to the other side of the incubator now. Snuggling another egg. And this one a minute ago was faced the other way before he came over. But it looks like he knocked it, so we can't see. But they've all got a little tiny, what's called a pip. The pip is the little part where they've broken out of the egg just a teeny bit. Oh, little baby, you're doing so good. Let's see if we can get the right angle on this other egg. Okay, here's that last one. It looks like it's also rolled where we can't see. Oh, just kidding, look at the very top. Just above the X, a little bit to the right. There's a little pip. That's where the egg shell is cracked, just a tiny bit, and it's able to get some fresh air. And they can hear its little brother or sister here who's hatched already. When they hear each other, then it encourages them to come out of their eggs. Okay, this is the first one. I'll open the incubator since they hatched. a little tiny yellow fluffy right there did your babies hatch did your babies hatch oh that's so exciting <laughs> that's so exciting daddy is being very protective 
Good job, Daddy. Just don't bite me. <laughs> Emmett. We're very proud of you guys. Come see the babies. Well, wasn't that so neat to learn so much about goslings? These were our Sebastopol goslings. We have geese, ducks, muscovy, rabbits, chickens, turkeys, goats, pigs, cats. So much going on on the farm all the time. And if you want to watch more of what we do, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can even like this video. Um, that would help us out a little bit. And um, we'd love to see you again next time. This is Christy with Sapphire Skies Farm. I hope you get a chance to get outside, get your hands dirty, and enjoy some sunshine. Bye. Sapphire skies.